right. <clears throat> we appear to be running this stream. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, thank you very much for those who are joining me. And there's a very strong likelihood you are watching this part on uh, on VOD because nobody's here yet. But um, I'm going to be drawing a commissioned piece uh, that uh, J.R. Crash, a.k.a. Bobkins Plays Doom, uh, asked me to do. And, uh, you know, he's commissioning this. So this is a, is a paid uh, drawing. But uh, on the, the other side of it is that it is a a piece of art that I would just love to be doing. So, you know, I'm really, really excited about this. I'm going to be drawing a poster for Psychotron, and uh, I just, I really can't wait to get started. But first things first, I got to actually, you know, set things up on my end here. So, um, I'm about to be rude. I'm about to cough. So, three, two, <coughs> there we go. Okay. So, we're just setting things up here. Can't see my chat yet. And now I can. So, anybody wants to chat at me? then I am able to do that. Now, for those that are wondering, the, the piece you're seeing on the right is the, uh, the, that is the friendly Barry the Baron that I was working on uh, the last time I was streaming. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show it off and uh, you know, just put it on the side there so people can see some of the stuff I have done recently. And um, the other thing I'm really excited about is this will be the first, or actually I want to say second, because uh, Barry was technically first. This will be the first commissioned drawing that I'm doing with my brand new Wacom tablet, which I have gotten th courtesy to uh, patrons and donors like all of you. And I want to thank you very much for all the help you've been giving me, uh, by the way. Um, and the, now I'm able to, you know, do these these art pieces. So, um, but specifically, I do want to uh, say a huge thank you to both Vlad Kablitsky and Spunky117, my two big do big top donors there for for July. Thank you so much for your help. I I was able to uh, I was able to get things going here. So, all right. So, without further ado, let's go just go ahead and get into it right here. So, um, I've created sort of my art space here. Now I, I did a little bit of sort of prep beforehand. It took me about a day to kind of look at some pictures and get some ideas, you know. So uh, kind of what I've come up with is here, I'll go ahead and show you the the pencil layers for these. This is the very, very rough uh, idea of where I'm at right now. So just to give you an idea. So um, so generally what we're going to see, be seeing here, um, and the, 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 I have, there's a lot of details I'm putting here, but this is the abstract that I'm going for here, is we're going to have JR Crash's uh, avatar right here, um, you know, sort of in the foreground, and he's going to be getting backed up by the friendly mech. Now you all remember the mech from... Uh, of course, the there's the mech actually appears in two scene, uh, two of the arenas in Psychotron. Uh, he's just sort of a, a piece of scenery in the uh, the one section, and then you know when we go to the next section, that's the friendly mech that's actually firing on all the bad guys and kind of helping you out and kind of sort of stealing your kills as well. But you know, as I've discussed in my strategy. Uh, video for Psychotron, the, the the scoring potential for Psychotron is technically limitless. So you know what, all the kill stealing that the Bombardier and the friendly mech do, it, it's not even worth complaining about because you can easily make all those points back up in the final round. So you know, not really that big a deal, I would I would say. So, um, and in any case, in the background, that of course is going to be Psychotron himself. He's going to be just looming over the entire thing with, you know, he's got one claw here. It's going to be like just powering up a, a spell. And then the other hand is going to be sort of reaching towards. And then the idea is that, you know, you kind of just get glimpses of his heart and rib cage here. And then it just sort of, it fades into blackness back here, sort of, or not so much blackness, but, you know, the, the sort of movie poster sort of thing where there's like, you know, it, it, it fades into a uh, background like on one side I was thinking it would be maybe like sort of a artistic interpretation of the industrial section from the first one and then over here would be like the the sort of cyberpunk city that you run into um, I, I'm not sure yet I, I would have what's gonna go in these two white spaces here uh, but I mean that's sort of small beans compared to what's going on in the front so um, today the focus uh, the primary focus is going to be uh, trying to get a, um, a trying to get this one done here first so uh, the, so to accomplish that we are actually going to be um, you know what might be a fun thing to do now well I, I need to really concentrate on this shape first so we're going to concentrate on homeboy here all right this will be this is based on going to be based on JR crashes uh, thing so this is just sort of a, a, a very very rough sort of I just want body parts to be sort of in these places kind of sketch here and so what we're going to be doing is taking this 
blue pencil. We've taken that down to a nice light opacity. And, you know, again, everything is just there for sort of scale and stuff. And now we're going to be doing um, another uh, JR Crash pencil layer. So, uh, okay, so we're going to be calling this one JR Pencil Layer. All right, that's going to be a transparency. And let's get started. So uh, what color should we be doing that in? Um, let's see here. So, well, let's see. Well, why? Yeah, I want it to be different from the... Uh, yeah, we'll just... But it also has to help me out when I'm doing uh, ink. So we'll just go with like a slightly darker, different blue. That ought to help out. Okay. Now. Isn't its skull on fire? Extra Halo 73647. Um, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Uh, what do you mean? Like uh, the you're talking about the Baron over there? Um which, uh, yeah, he's just, he's just a generic Baron of Hell. He's not a specific one, like, from any of my boards or anything like that. So, uh, I guess no. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. What's that look like? Oh, that is way too wide. All right. All right. And... All right, how's that? That's well, still a little wider than I'd like. It's not wide enough. That'll do. Okay. Alright, so now I'm trying to sort of capture the the shape of the JR Crash helmet, but it's gotta be facing in sort of this direction, so. So something along what is that? Why why is it doing that? All right. So, uh, let's see. There's that sort of ridgy thing here that it's. Uh, why does it keep doing that? That is unusual. It keeps doing this sort of thing where it keeps trying to like, rather than like draw it, like, like I'm trying to do a long click or something, and it's weird. Uh, it's probably something in the set the pen settings I could probably very easily go in and deal with. Like I said, it's a brand new, brand new thing. Yeah, so, uh, actually, it's got to be more like yay. doing that please. Alright, so it's sort of a, uh, and then there we go. And then uh something like that I think it's gonna work. Holy shiz, you're awake. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm going to be awake for at least another few hours. Man, I got a lot of work to do on this thing. <laughs> Is it, I'm a working man, yo. I got, uh, I don't really get a whole lot of time to work, you know, on, on this art stuff during the day because doing the full-time daddy thing, you know. All right, so it's kind of a shape like that. All right. Uh... Um, there's got to be another one of those um, right underneath, like so. Something like that. Why well, won't stop it? Okay, I really gotta, I gotta shut that off. That is really getting annoying. It's amazing how much of this pen I this pen has like a million and one features, and unless I shut all of them off, it's just the most annoying drawing thing ever, so I'm really sorry about that. Give me a second here. Alright, pen settings. Alright, so... Off. Ok. 
Okay. That should do it, I think. All right. Yep, I think that got it. Okay, good. Okay, now, where were we? Oh, yes, trying to, like, figure out how to do these eyes, I guess, at this angle. So, all right, so... Shoot uh, two. All right, this is actually it's going to be all filled in like yay. It's midnight where you are. Uh, I'm on the west coast, so it's only about ten o'clock here. So, um, but I mean, I'm going to be up for at least another two hours. So I mean, pfft, you're still up. What are you? Why are you surprised? I'd still be up. You know, <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> So let's see here. Uh, oh, come on, stop that. Why is it still doing that? It's so weird. Uh, Something like that, I think. Working on the Black Knight Part 2, and I'm taking all your advice to heart. Looking pretty good so far. It's really focused on exploring the DC Universe. New at Custom Geo. It's difficult. Oh, dude. Nobody gets it all on the first try, man. Like, I mean, what's that? Uh, there's a thing, Jake the Dog from, um, oh, what's that show? Uh, Adventure Time that I really like. Uh, there's a thing Jake the so Dog says, which is sucking is the first step at being pretty good at something. Um, and it's so true. Like, you cannot be afraid to suck a little. I mean, that's part of the, you know, and taking criticism to heart is a good step in that process, you know? I mean, the nice thing about failure is if you learn from it, you only got to fail once, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, once is a higher number than zero, so that means you got to fail sometime. And you learn more from screwing up than you do from getting it right. Let's put it that way. So it's all good, you know. Yo, Psycho Knight, how you doing? What's what's the skinny? What's the haps? I see you're streaming again. That's freaking awesome. Makes me happy in my happy pants that Psycho Knight is back. Let's see, and... So, I mean, just a sketch at this point, so I don't really have to get super exact with it. Um, there we go. Mm. But, yeah, I mean, we're all new at something. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, anybody that tells you they came out of the womb perfect or whatever it was they did, man, just... That person ain't, is either hu inhuman or a liar, is all I got to say about that. All right, so and here's where I need to zoom in a little bit on my reference drawing. What? You're not drawing JR Crash's avatar from memory? No, I'm not that good. You suck, Zilla. Unsubscribe. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, uploaded my ninth highlights vid today, and I'm almost done with my stress killer snap map. Nice. Good to hear. I would love to have time to work on my snap maps right now, man. Dude, like, I got the coolest, coolest idea. And, like, I have to work on it during streams, but, like, like I've just been playing a lot of really good maps lately. And <laughs> it's, 
you know it's hard man it's, it's so many so many good mappers putting out good maps lately and like you know I just, I'm glad to be playing them so alright there we go that's a little on the weird side but it'll look better after some All right, and then it's sort of a something like yay. And there's a stop that. All right, something like that. Okay, now this is sort of weird here. All right, so. Sort of a something like yay. Uh, 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 let's say it's kind of like this. That? No, it's got a duck bar underneath, like, yeah, like, more like that, I think. Uh, something like that, I think. Nothing like ending an epic day watching Z draw. I beat someone at Super Smash Bros. during their own live stream. My victory was nearly flawless. That's awesome. Who 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 were you playing and who were they playing? Um, and wait, is this is is there a new Smash for uh, the Switch yet? I, I used to work at Nintendo. I haven't really been paying much attention to what they've been doing since I left, but um, I do know that apparently the Switch is pretty kick-ass. And uh, but I don't know if it has a Smash yet. I haven't been paying close enough attention to, and I totally kerbuggered that up at Skosh, didn't I? Uh, okay, so. And, uh, I don't know if Justin told you, but I finished the final version of Tougher Than Hell and I put you and Justin in it. No, as demons. No, I was not told that. Um, that's freaking awesome. Um, freaking sweet. Uh, you were, of course, Captain Falcon, and he was Mario. Yeah, well, you know, that, that, that is a Falcon punch waiting to happen, I'll tell you what. Um, like, Oh, pff. boy, I couldn't even, like, I, uh, first off, like, I love Smash. I love the single-player Smash. That's why, um, I want to say it was Smash Bros. Uh, Brawl was my favorite, because it had, like, that really epic single-player campaign in it. But I, I'm, like, one of those losers that hates playing multiplayer. So, like, uh, I never really got into the, the whole, like, multiplayer scene with it. Um, thing is, if you play it, please don't be mad. Um... Why did you... Why would I be mad that you made me a demon? I mean, as long as you made me the the Cybermank, then whatever. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. Is most of the time when uh, when people put me in their boards, they make me a Cybermank for some reason. Probably because I'm... Probably because I, I, probably I'm a fat guy with a humongous fupa and I like to spit acid at people. It's just a hobby, really. But, you know... That's, you know... I, I, I appreciate it if people don't judge you know we all got to unwind somehow some get their kicks from you know cocaine or you know alcohol or you know waving signs about hellfire at the people that do enjoy those things but for me it's just using my hand mounted booger shooters to shoot atomic boogers at doom guys that's and so you know for that reason if you don't use a Cybermank to represent me, then it's probably not a good interpretation. But, <laughs> 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 I 
Ah, uh, yes, the subspace emissary. Great story. I, I, I didn't understand a thing about the story. I just felt like it was awesome. Like, I, I, it was like it was it was like the story from Doom. It's like I like that this story exists and there's so much of it, and I don't really have to pay attention to it just to have fun. I mean, in my own head, I was making up my own little side continuities, like trying to like make it make sense in my head why Donkey Kong would exist in the same universe as Kid Icarus and Samus Am Aaron, <laughs> you know, and. It was just so much fun to play those mental games, you know, while you're also playing a really well-built, you know, scaled-down fighting game. You know, it's just so much fun. So, you know, and I loved it. And, you know, like the inclusion of Sonic and, um, uh, what's his name, Solid Snake just made the whole thing that much more awesome. So, yeah. I out you as it because of the colors. It's better I made Justin a pinky. You out me because of the colors? What? I don't understand what you mean. I out you as it because of the colors. Is it is it like you just went green for green or you just what? I don't know. I, I don't understand what you think I'm going to be mad about here. I mean, I, I could never be mad at you unless you you did something that would make me mad. Um, which I suppose is a redundant statement, so. Still, I made it. There you go. <laughs> There's lots of detail, actually. Much lower, not directly addressed. I would, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. I mean, I, I had so much fun just, you know, as a, as a playable experience. Like, I really felt like it was, it was the most awesome hybrid of fighting game and side-scroller ever, is, in my opinion. It really just was. And, um, you know, th I felt like they did a really good job making both of them work in ways that Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero failed to, or Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero sort of failed at, if, you know. Man, that, that game was terrible. It had so much potential. I had so much hope for it. Let's see here. I think if I make the area around the uh, eyes there sort of the... Like that, like cheat just a little with shadow, then I can make that work a whole lot better than what's currently on the paper, or uh, on the the actual thing. I guess is the, and then we'll do kind of a shell head thing for that. Uh, the ears are also going to be on the black side of things here, and uh, as is this area here. And those are those are yellow, and then these are sort of dark. But there's also sort of a thing there, so we'll just do like that. You know, we don't want to go too crazy with the scribbly dibbles there. Um, it's my damn keyboard. I put you as it as I put you as it. I put because of the colors. Oh, I see what you're saying. Meta Knight was such a badass. Oh, I hated. I like, like. Okay, no, I, I won't say I hated. Like, I hated like when friends would come over and play Meta Knight because then they could. Meta Knight is everybody could whoop my ass with Meta Knight because Meta Knight is so Meta Knight. You know, <laughs> like he's he really is kind of like, uh, you know, I I don't know if OP is the correct word, but he's definitely very button button mash friendly. You know. <laughs> Like, there are certain characters that are more button mash friendly, or as I like to call them, the Eddie Gordos. You know, <laughs> like, as Tekken, I forget which Tekken it was that introduced Eddie Gordo and introduced the concept of the no matter how good you get, you can always be beaten by a toddler slapping buttons if they're, the toddler is playing Eddie Gordo. You know, <laughs> like. Um, okay, well, with one exception, I think, I think a. a uh, even a mildly decent Paul Phoenix could beat a button mashing Eddie Gordo. Uh, I give 50 50 odds on that, but nonetheless, there you sort of have it. Alright, so let's see. That's got to come up and over, I think. Um, okay, so that's, yeah, okay. So, like, sort of like that, I think, is what's going to make that make more sense. Yeah. She loved the character, but I always get so much backlash. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, you know, that's the thing. You, you can definitely feel like you have to defend yourself if you're, if you're kind of saying Meta Knight is, yeah. 
And Tekken is pretty unbalanced. Yeah. Mostly just Eddie Gordo. And, like, I think the unbalanced, though, actually is what kind of... Like, I, I actually hate it when... The, I hate the idea of a fighting game that's completely 100% balanced. Like, I really do. Like, one of the reasons why is because, like... Say say you get really... I mean, like, okay. So, like, with the unbalanced, you can... You, you start off by being, like, really good with, uh, like, say, in Street Fighter. Like, Street Fighter's not 100% balanced either, especially from a skill level. Um, you know... Uh, all right, so... Um, so, yeah, so even Street Fighter's not 100%, you know, balanced. But here's the thing, like... Like, what happens is it has its own little internal, well, you know, you you may be good, but you're not, you know, maining as dulcim good. You know what I'm saying? Like, any, like I'll tell you right now, man, way back in the day, you, I, we used to worship the people that got good with Zangief. Like, holy cow, if you could main Zangief, like, or Zangief, or however you want to pronounce it. I always pronounce it Zangief. But anyway, if you could main Z Zangief, like, you were a god. You were just a god, because like you know, like it, like it, any n any number of fools could come up come up and be like, yeah, you know, I I you should I really kick ass with Ryu. Yeah, great. So does your little brother and everybody else's little brother. You know, like <laughs> you know, come back when you get good with Chun Li. Oh yeah, well I'm good with Chun Li now. Great. Come back when you're good with Blanca. All right. Now come back when you're good with Dalsim and Zangief and all the you know these other sort of weirder characters, you know? So I, I don't I don't necessarily feel like every fighting game has to be like a hundred percent tip top balanced. That said, Eddie Gordo was a joke. You know? <laughs> like <laughs> like seriously, like Eddie Gordo was just a doggone joke. So <laughs> And you know, I mean, and, and it's a respectable joke too. I, I like, I, I, I really like that they tried to work Coppolera in there, but the way they did it just made it too button mash friendly. Like, cause I think Coppolera looks awesome, man. But, sounds like me playing again to Ganondorf and Smash Brothers. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ganondorf is. Ganondorf is definitely kind of like you know, you know you get you get good at Captain Falcon, and then when you're ready like to go to the next level, you start working up your your Ganondorf skills. Definitely. <laughs> All right, how are we doing here? All right, so I'm already starting to dip into where the shotgun meets the the armor there, so I got to be real careful. Not really. I have an eraser. Like <laughs> I don't even know why I'm I'm flipping so much here. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's get some of our scribbledy doubles in there so we can kind of tell the, where everything is at least. Do, 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 do. And there we go. These are this is gonna be kind of that sort of cracky sort of look there. Yeah, sure, I'll draw your player avatar. Oh god, could you please have like a really complicated hard to draw pattern in your in your armor? Well Dog giddly don it, it'll be so fun. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm just playing like I guess that once I figure out what it is that's causing that weird sort of long press effect when I tap my pen down too quickly and shut it off, there'll be a lot less to complain about, but for now alright, so and then yeah, that's close enough, I think, and then just really I just need something there for now I can't it doesn't need to be perfect, okay, so there we go okay and then there we go. I mean, it, you, you know, there's always a learn like uh, that's another thing is like there's always a learning curve with new equipment. Like uh, right now, right now I'm like I'm I'm super happy. I, I like I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast. This is uh, brand new equipment courtesy of my donors, specifically the the generous generous donations of Spunky One One Seven and Vlad Kublitsky who, uh, you know, like, they basically, thanks to the two of them, I met my my first tier uh, 
my first tier funding goals like a month and a half ahead of schedule and that's really helpful because that means now I can take on I can take on more and better commissions and start making that money for the second tier so my, my next goal is um, I, it looks like I might be uh, making affiliate with um, Twitch soon and if that happens I want to be able to start doing streams with my computer on Twitch rather than on YouTube now the reason I've been doing YouTube is because Every time I try to stream with this particular computer on Twitch, you get lots of lags and disconnects. Uh, YouTube doesn't have that same problem because it's not quite as uh, intense. So, you know, the process isn't quite as intense. So, uh, but like I said, so it's, it, I got to get my, my rig upgraded, I think. So, um, so that's why, you know, hey, if you've got something you want me to draw for you, please reach out and let's talk about it. Well, uh, we shall work out a deal. Okay, that's not right. There, let's, uh, there we go. He's got like this cool like Wu-Tang Killer Bees thing going on with his armor. It's freaking awesome. Uh, Alright. That might actually be going out too far? No. Yeah, kind of. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's put that right about yay. I've really got to learn what is causing that. I hope it's not because my hand's all damp. Like, cause it's, it's been very uh, warm and sweaty uh, <laughs> in this part of the country, so... There we go. Alright, good night, Captain Falcon. Thank you very much for hanging out. Have a good night and a restful slumber. Appreciate you hanging out very much. So I kind of want to play... Uh, I have this idea for a game that's based on this thing I used to do when I was hanging out. And if anybody else is in the chat in this game for this, uh, here's basically the way it works. is I get random words from people that are sort of watching or listening or whatever and I wait until I get at least three of them. Three random words about doggone anything, and then I have to try and tell a story about those three words. And, you know, just see what happens. So, if anybody is down to give that a try, man, just start throwing some random words into the chat here. And once I get three or more random words, I'll, uh, I'll have to come up with a story about it, I guess. So, we'll tell a story about three random words. See, one of the benefits of having a weird uh, brain, like uh, those who don't know, I do have schizoaffective disorder, and one of the aspects of schizoaffective disorder is my brain just kind of goes places sometimes, and so sometimes it's fun to ride that wave. I mean, it's under controlled circumstances. And one of those controlled circumstances is when people give me sort of like jumping off points to work with. And so I kind of concentrate on those and then just let my brain do its thing. So it's a lot of fun. So. In the progress of making an oil painting of a cyber demon currently a year or something like that into the project. Wow! Nice. Um, do you have any photos of um, of your progress anywhere, or are you are you logging your progress or anything like that? That definitely sounds like something that'd be fun to to see, especially if it's a work in progress kind of thing. Like I expect this one's probably going to take. I, I I originally estimated like eight hours. And I'm like, oh pfft, no, there's no way. But it's definitely a labor of love kind of thing here because I've been wanting to do something of this nature for quite some time. 
um, and this is like the perfect opportunity to do that. I'm really excited. So. Yes, yes, half done. Nice. Nice. And this will be probably about where I... Alright, and then... Uh, let me see here. So we got to... Just needed a better look at that gauntlet over there so that I could get a sort of an idea of where the uh huh. There we go. Yeah, I'd love I definitely love to see those pictures. Um like feel free to feel free to post them if you have links and I'll be happy to take a look. So, man, I I I wish I could. I like I, the, I of all the physical media I've worked with, painting is the one I always had the hardest time with. Partially because it just requires so much more like patience than I have. Like with digital, like I, if I don't like something, I, I it's so much easier for me to just like sort of delete it or sort of draw over it another layer. Like with with paint, I have such a hard time with it. I'm just. You know, I'm sure if I, you know, stuck with it in practice, it would become a non-issue. But then I discovered digital art. <laughs> like, I was like, well, you know what's nice about digital art? It caters to my natural laziness. So, you know. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let me see something here. Alright, so tablet. Those are all disabled. Double click tip systems should be off. Mapping, mode, pen. Area full, tablet area full. options uh, pointer speed these should all be disabled That shouldn't be doing that then. So why is it? Alright, well. Okay. Okay, let's try again here. Okay. Where are we at? Oh yeah, we were working on that left gauntlet. And now we gotta worry about uh, what's going on with this shotgun here. Let's see. Hmm. I totally forgot to get myself a... Um, Totally forgot to get myself a, uh, uh, what you want to call it, a picture of uh, the shotgun. But again, sketch, I can kind of fudge it a little bit, I think. There we go. Got to hit the hay or I'm going to pass out on the keyboard. Good night. Well, have a good night, Psycho Knight. Thanks for joining me, man. I really appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate it. So... Ver, ver much. Oh, that's right. I was going to sort of bathe this area in shadow anyway. So maybe that should be higher then. There we go. Something like that. And then Okay. 
so oh yeah and it has that sort of Is that going to be right? It's like, yeah, because it's coming over the front. So, it's going to be kind of a... Uh, so, something like... Uh, something like that there we go and uh, uh huh uh, let's see and kind of like uh Kind of like that right there. There we go. Alright. Uh. My goodness. Alright. Stop that. Thank you. There we go. Back to the pencil. Back to a size 2. There we go. Man, don't shame the size 2. All, all pencil sizes are beautiful. It's just, you know. Some of them f fit the space a little better than others, that's all. And again, we're talking about pencils, not people. So, there you go. There we go. And, uh... go. Uh, that other hand is looking a little on the weird side. I'm going to have to do some research. Hey Vlad, what's going on man? How you doing? Good to see you. I am drawing a uh, Psychotron poster here and uh, we're starting off. I'm actually adding JR Crash's uh, user avatar to it. Or at least I thought I was gonna, and then I discovered this. So, um, wait, what just happened here? Because it really does sort of look like I. Well, that's what happened. I, I need to. I need to actually make sure that when I draw the, the gun. That it actually points more this way. Otherwise, it's gonna stop making sense real quick. So, I need to be very, very, there we go. some of these problems aren't be actually being caused by either A, the streaming software itself, or B, the, um, the fact that my hand is really moist and sweaty right now. Like, that would certainly be another explanation. And that is not even remotely right. Holy cow. 
like I traveled so darn far down that shit show that I'm going to have to do a lot of racing now. Oh, that is weird. Oh, for crying out loud. Thank you. Alright, so... There. And why is it oblong like that? That's weird. Okay. that hand, this hand here needs to be completely rethought out, I think, and then, uh, oh my goodness, okay. what's going on. Okay. Oh, doggone it. Oh. Well, that's problematic. Okay. Well, live and learn. Live and learn, I suppose. Okay. So, let's zoom back out here. Alright, and Okay, so from a detail standpoint, um, I seem to have gotten the upper torso right about where I need to do it. However, I am going to have to go back in there and probably redo the skeleton bones of the, the rest of that body because I completely put, well, no. So, okay, no, no, the reason why we have to redo the bones is because I positioned the gun in a way that's not consistent with the arm placements. And so I need to completely rethink that crap. All right, dark, got it. Spent a whole day prepping, and, like, I missed that one simple thing. Okay, well, these things happen. We make mistakes so that we can learn from them. Why do we fall? So we can get back up and punch the stupid who pushed us down. So, all right, so... In any case, yep, that's sort of what we're building towards there. We'll go ahead and just show that one more time there. So the idea is there's the friendly mech. There's, um, well, JR Crash there. His, his avatar will be standing, like, in front of the mech. And then looming over the distance will be the Psychotron. Brah! You know, it'll be super freaking cool and awesome and um, a, lot, a lot of fun. Um, and I'm going to be at this one for a while. So uh, with that in mind, um, and owing to a little thing that I discovered here, which is the reason why my, uh, my, my mouse is... It, uh, okay, so it's really, really warm where I'm at right now. Uh, and I just have not been able to stop sort of sweating. And... Um, What's going on is that the, uh, the, the sweat from my hands is uh, forming a layer that is interfering with the operation of the brush. And so um, I need to very, I need to go find a solution to this. Um, and it, it's <laughs> not an issue I've ever encountered before. And unfortunately, the way I'm, I'm drawing this, uh, one of the solutions might actually be to... Um, well, there's a couple ways I can fix this. Basically, if I can't find a way to protect the pad itself, then the next best step is to adjust the settings on the tablet so that I can work with my hand off the tablet. Because right now, the way my, my screen is set up, I have to work with my hand on the tablet. So that's, um, that's causing some problems. So, um, you know, I think what's got to happen here, and I'm again, I'm very, very sorry about this, but I do have to sort of cut things off a little early for episode one. I'm really sorry that um, 
you know, we got to this point and I have to do that. But um, in any case, uh, this will continue sooner rather than later. Um, like I said, new equipment, still kind of getting the ins and outs of how all the stuff works here. Um, in the meantime, um, if anybody does uh, have any work that they'd like me to do for them, please, by all means, reach out to me. You can send me a message through YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter and uh, send me a message that way. Uh, you can look for my Facebook page, which is Portraits by Zilla. Uh, it's facebook.com slash Portraits by Zilla. Uh, there should be some links in the description of this video. If there isn't, um, you can go pretty much to the description of any one of my, my Doom Snap Map videos. And uh, you'll also find links there that will help you uh, get a hold of me. So in any case, um, again, sorry i got to wrap this up uh, when I do. But anyway, this has been Z-Manzilla, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, let me know what else you'd like to see, or if I could draw something for you. Thanks. <laughs>